Hello everyone, this video is to demonstrate about MM Solver usage guide which includes Solver UI and shelf buttons with examples. I'm going to discuss all the tools which are shown in the usage guide section here. Once MM Solver is installed for Maya, we'll find a shelf called MM Solver. Inside MM Solver shelf, we have our first button called Solver. Once you click that, it opens up the Solver UI. Um, this is where we add all our markers and the attributes which you want to solve for, and your Solver logic, and everything goes in here. So, in order to you know get started with the Solver, we have to first create the collection. A collection is a set of all the markers, the output attributes you're going to add to the Solver. So in order to create a new collection, you have to go to File, say New Collection. So that creates the Solver logic here. Over here, we're going to add all our 2D inputs, which is in this case, markers. So if you select the markers, and click this button, that will add all the markers over here. And this section is where you add all your output attributes. So in this case, uh, I would like to add all the camera uh, camera attributes here. So I'll just select the camera, unlock these channels, and then click this. And that should automatically add your translations and rotations. Mm -hmm. So if the attributes are keyed, it'll show up here, like if it's animated or not. Imagine if I add a scale scale x attribute and doesn't have any keys and it should show static over here. Sorry. So I select the scale x and say add. And you, as you can see, we have a scale x attribute here and the state of it is static. We don't need our scale x attribute to be solved for, so I'm going to remove that. So I click the scale x here and say remove, and that should remove my scalex attribute from the solver output attributes inside the ui we have a lot of tools so the first file section we have new collection rename collection and remove collections you can have multiple you know collections so in this case i have created collection one i can have a new collection and i can have you know different markers in there i can have different set of attributes in there like i can just lower only the rotations so that's going to add only my rotation attributes here and I can have a different logic to the solver also that's what new collection is and you can always rename your collection saying like okay this collection uh, camera okay, camera rotations and that's going to rename uh, my collection over there and I can remove it by clicking remove collection option here and that should remove the collection and you can see all your collections here in this drop down menu here and then we have this section called tools most of the tools over here are repeated in the in the shelf so i'm not going to cover all of this uh, yeah most of the tools are repeated in the shelf and we have a log and then we have a help button once you click help that should open up a link in the browser and and it, sh and it shows you know how this ui to be used and what is this ui about all right and this is where we have the progress uh, bar here so if you hit solve that should show the progress here uh, we'll just quickly do a solve uh, so I'm going to remove all my markers, all my rotation, oh sorry, all my output attributes. So, all right. So we have a scene, we have attached a backplate. Uh, I'm going to kill all the animation on my camera. I'm going to key it only in the first frame. So as you can see, I have a backplate the camera move and my camera is static now and we have uh, 2d markers so if i zoom in that's 
where that's where my 2d marker is so we have that 2d marker dragged in dragged to the plate and we have a bunch of markers for camera and and four markers for my object so right now I'm going to explain only how to solve the camera all right so this is all my camera points so I'm going to open up the solver UI and select all my markers here these are my camera points so I click that that should add all my markers and then I'm going to solve for my camera so I'm going to select the camera all the attributes Oops, sorry. Select my attributes and say add. And that should add my translations and rotation attributes. And I'm going to solve for 1 to 120. Cool. That's pretty much it. And we are ready to hit solve. Oh, before doing, before hitting solve, we have to project all our 2D points. So I'll select all my markers and click this button called Raycast Markers. I'm going to explain how to use this tool and what is this tool about. So right now I just click that and I make sure I lock all the bundles and solve. So as you can see we have a progress bar here and it says what frame it's evaluating here. Cool and our solve is finished. If you look at the script editor, we actually have 0, 0.0 pixel error. <laughs> That's pretty good. So if I zoom in and see everything sticks to the camera, as you can see, everything works well. Cool. All right, that's pretty much it about solar UI. Uh, we'll move on to the next part of the video, which is part two, where I'll explain all the shelf buttons.